Now next article is terminal velocity. Terminal velocity means the constant velocity attained by spherical object in a medium is called as terminal velocity. Now we have to obtain expression for terminal velocity. So we consider a spherical object moving in a liquid column. So you can see this diagram, this is a liquid column and this is a spherical object which is moving in a liquid column. Then we have to consider forces acting on this spherical object. The downward force you can see in a diagram, it is a weight. And upward force is the upthrust force exerted by the liquid and the viscous force. So let me consider eta coefficient of viscosity, rho density of spherical body. Yeah? R is radius of spherical object, V terminal velocity. Sigma density of liquid. So rho density of spherical object, sigma density of liquid. Now forces acting on body is. So first force weight. So weight is given by formula mg. That's m we can write density into volume. This g as it is. Density volume into g. Density as it is. Volume of this spherical object is 4 by 3 pi r cube into this g as it is. Now we can write by rearranging the term 4 by 3 pi r cube rho into g. So this is, a this is the force acting on spherical object in downward direction means the weight. Now second force is the viscous force. By Stokes law we can write viscous force is 6 pi eta r v. Similar manner of thrust force. So this up thrust force is exerted by the liquid. So up thrust force is ex uh, exerted by liquid. So in the same, as we calculated here the weight, in same way we can calculate the up thrust force exerted by liquid. So we can write here up thrust force is equal to uh, 4 by 3 pi r cube sigma into the same formula we get except here instead of rho a sigma. So here how we get this formula up thrust force you can write by formula mg then m into density into volume so density is sigma okay up thrust force is exerted by, uh, experienced by this object so uh, that volume we have to consider or okay now here we find out the formulas of the forces acting on the object now here this spherical body moving with the constant velocity it means that it is in equilibrium upward force and downward force are balanced so we can write total downward force is equal to total upward force so downward force is only weight and upward force is viscous force and up thrust force weight is given by this formula 4 by 3 pi r cube rho g A viscous force 6 pi eta r v up thrust force 4 by 3 pi r cube sigma into g now we simplify this equation. This minus plus 4 by 3 pi r cubes sigma g we have to transfer to the left side. So it is minus here. Now we can take the common and we can simplify this equation and we write it for v. So we get formula 2 by 9 r square rho minus sigma into g divided by eta. So this is terminal velocity. So this is terminal velocity of spherical object. Similarly, we can write coefficient of viscosity is given by formula. Same formula we can write for coefficient of viscosity. 2 by 9 r square rho minus sigma into g divided by v. 